this is the wrong. Before Jocelyn Ball, you have to do this glitch, which is the pipe glitch, which is going to inter interrupt a cutscene that would normally play whenever you uh, put the core in the monument. Um, from here, you can do two rolls forward. Um, after that, you're going to want to end up um, around here. And then you're going to roll straight over this way, your cursor basically at the bottom of the pipe. And um, that will make you roll off at the same time that you activate the pipe text, um, like that. Then you roll over to the core, put them on you in the core, start rolling towards the um, skyway, and then open the skyway only after the screen comes back from flashing white. Okay, so in the dream of Joss and Bog, we're going to be holding Wear Whiskey for a very long time. So it's going to require a bit of setup. First, we're going to go over to these first two stink eyes and take the damage from them. Um, we take that damage so that we can use the pot right away. Now we have two health pots, as you can see here. We have two health pots, so if uh, a stink eye drops a health pot, it's okay to pick it up. Um, we prefer not to. Uh, but if we had three health pots, by the time we got wear whiskey, any health pot would heal us and put us out of wear whiskey, which we do not want. So we need wear whiskey the entire time. Uh, now we're going to roll around quite a bit. We're going to take the damage we need as we're rolling around um, to to get wear whiskey again. Group them up as much as you can. If you kill them fast enough, you can actually get an early cycle. Um, the cycles are the day and night time. If you kill every stink eye before it turns night time, you actually uh, get an early cycle. It's very, very difficult though. Uh, night time is usually whenever, whenever you kill them. Um, after after they're all done spawning, the first night time is usually the best, uh, a good cycle. So then Zia comes up. Uh, and it, my cursor was down here. That's a pretty good spot to keep your cursor for this section. Now that we have wear whiskey, we're going to be breaking open the um, circle of um, the circle of statues uh, with a melee attack down towards this direction. Uh, a squirt will start attacking us while the squirt, uh, just as the squirt is about to finish his attack, is we will throw a targeted grenade and everyone will die. If you if you do it at a slightly wrong time, one um, one windbag will be left alive. So let's see it in action. And if that one windbag is left alive, you kill it with a hammer plus a uh, musket shot. So hammer musket these guys down. And then Zolf will appear. Uh, after you click on Zolf, uh, you roll off the edge. That allows you to start moving in the next area earlier than you normally would be able to. You want to move directly up from where from the center of the screen up. Uh, and you'll see where my cursor is there. It's just in the center, pointing upwards, and then you can continue on pretty early. So that saves you some time in this level. After you hit the skyway here, you're going to roll off again. And then in the same position, in the center of your screen at the top, you're going to spam, I, I spam uh, the musket key and space bar while left click, while holding left click up upwards. So that when I load in all the area, um, the area in the center, all the bar stools in my way have been cleared by my musket shot and I have broken the bar so I can roll right up to and be standing next to this turret as it spawns. Then I kill that with a close range musket shot. Grenade and a couple of attack. I think grenade, hammer, musket kills, um, kills that uh, spawner. I'm not exactly sure. And then a musket shot kills this turret. Then we kill Rondi and then we go kill ourselves. When we die, we uh, use our chance by hitting escape and then hold the mouse button in the bottom left here. That will fall. Uh, that will have the kid fall off as soon as possible while the screen is loading and then you have zombie kid. So you're, you're walking before uh, while you're supposed to be sleeping. Uh, then you're going to use two grenades that you should have uh, to finish off the kid. 
and then go up to this top corner right here. Uh, this is where I go. Uh, I wait until I hear the audio change, um, and then I click the left mouse button up here. Uh, I start trying to move up in the, to the top right. Um, so right there, as soon as that sound changes, it goes whoa, and then you click. Uh, pardon my awkward sounds, but uh, yeah, then you then you start moving to the top right of the screen. Spam E, you'll be there as soon as you can see it, uh, and then pick up things. Uh, you know, go from point to point there, and then sleep. So that that's the dream segment. Pretty hard. It's probably the hardest segment of new game ASL. Uh, it took me several tries of recording just to get. A perfect Joss, a nearly perfect Joss and Bog. There's still a couple mistakes uh, in this Joss and Bog, but um, it was it was hard to even record this. So uh, definitely take some practice. Here, just time your rolls so you don't get caught by that guy. It's actually quite challenging, in my opinion, to not get caught by that pokey thing. Um, if you do, don't worry. Just break it down and keep going. Here, we're gonna have to get wear whiskey again. Um, we're also going to level up pretty soon as well. Um, it's not exactly precise where you're going to level up, but at some point in this area you're going to level up. Um, all you have to do here, well, as soon as this big fight starts, the only thing that matters is that you have to clear this area before a um, pincushion spawns right where my mouse is here. Uh, if a pin When the pincushion spawns there, you want everything else to be dead, and then you kill that. So we'll see that here. We're going to get Wear Whiskey by getting hit by every single hit from um, that thing, the giant flower. That gave me a level up. I'm just going to clear everything with a couple grenades. Uh, and then you need one grenade left for the... Um, you need to keep one grenade for this pincushion here. So everything's cleared, the pincushion spawns, throw a targeted grenade, and then the skyway will open. Even though that pincushion isn't there, it doesn't matter. You need to kill the first pincushion while everything else is dead before the second pincushion spawns, and that's the fastest possible. Um, doesn't matter how fast you do it, as long as you've killed everything uh, by the time that pincushion spawns. And that's Joss and Bach.